Hello guys, uh, welcome to Let's Play X Rebirth. My name is Milos. Today I'd like to talk about uh, borderless uh, graphic mode, which is very handy if you have two monitors and the game is becoming a little bit slow and you don't have... Um, you kind of lost interest in doing any missions. You want to see how the economy is going to develop, but you really don't want to sit in front of the screen and wait. I also found that um, leaving game running for extended period of time, for some reason it minimizes it after a while, so you can't just leave it running. So if you go into your settings and into your graphic settings, see here display mode, there are three options here. You can select, you can select full screen, windowed, and borderless window. What borderless window mean is that you can move your mouse outside of the screen if you have a second monitor and you can basically leave the game running on one monitor and you can uh, you can do other things on your second monitor, whatever you need to do. Whether it's uh, internet browsing or, or writing something or just simple things. Also notice that running game, um, at least on my machine, uh, in uh, borderless mode, when the game is not active, for example if I'm browsing an internet, the internet, uh, I notice that the load on CPU drops significantly. And you can see on your second monitor that frame rate drops a lot but because you're not really actively playing, it doesn't matter. So, all you care is basically that the economy is going, it's happening. Um, so that's about it, about borderless mode. Um, I've been doing that for the last day or two and um, it's been working pretty well. And I want to show you what I've done now with my little empire here. As I said last time we spoke, I said that I was building a fourth module in my URV BTO line. So they're all four going now. I put all trade to be fully automated. So as you can see, there are trade offers here uh, for the sale and there are trade offers here for the buy. Um, Everything looks really um, pretty well um, supplied. This is because I decided to start buying some supply ships or trade ships. So I've got one container ship here and if you go here into detail you can see here. But this is, I don't know why this happened at the very beginning when I assigned the ship to the station. The ship got loaded with 24 cargo lifter URV in the storage. So they're just sitting there and doing nothing. I'm not sure why that's done. So anyway, if anyone has any idea, please, please let me know. As you can see here, I didn't put many um, drones on it. I just put 10 cargo lifter drones and 5 intrepid URVs. And then later on with the other ships, I didn't even bother putting too many of them because they are operating within the same sector here glaring truth and as we know this sector is fairly quiet so this ship is supplying it's taking a load of my couple of my auto traders as I previously said I have two auto traders in the Vries and I've got one automatic station trader that means it only trades ways in between my own stations I also have uh, also one auto miner here for the freeze and I'm not sure what's mining here at the moment okay there you go ions and plasma in previous episode I also said that I was struggling with cell production and if you look in here in trade office you're going to, Ready you're going to see sir. that there are not many cells out there available because um, my factory is a heavy users and there is more demand than supply. I try flying to both Ascendancy and to Gemstone Manufacture where there are two Albion shipyards and the shipyards were 
blocked with building around and it looked like they were missing a lot of um, scanning arrays so I decided not to do anything at this moment I'm using one of my trade ships just to haul any required cells from other stations I'm gonna resolve that later one thing that I'd probably do differently if I started this empire and now thinking about my previous game I did have two cell fab matrix I think if I go into encyclopedia and let me have a look if I go to station stations um, there should be cell mega complex Oh yeah, yeah, there it was. The I seem to have a stack of lovely credits we have made for you. Shall I transfer the surplus to your account? Mm, I need to have a look. Ready for retasking, sir? Let me see. In sold. If I go into, let's say, iron cells, there is a massive supply here. I thought it was cool. Cell Fab Matrix. Why didn't I see it here? My apologies for this little delay. I'm just trying to find. Ah. Central to all energy consuming operations, ion cells and plasmas. Oh, I thought there was another bigger. Well, looks like I have to build a second station. So, where were we? We were talking about assigning ships. So, I assigned one container ship to URV BTLM because basically all, all the ways that this station is using um, container ways apart from energy. So, I'm just relying on NPCs to supply energy to it. Then, for the tech lab, I supplied one, whatever you call them, bulk and liquid. Let me see what they're actually getting at the moment. There you go, some silicon wafers. And this one here, container and energy, is bringing iron cells. <coughs> also, ship tech fab. I assigned two ships, one bulk. Let me see what this one is. It's not bringing anything. And let's see, container and energy is not doing actually anything at the moment. So, and I think I, I assigned another ship. Maybe wrong. No, I didn't. Tech lab, yes. Ah, yeah, we've already been here anyway. So, the economy is flowing nicely, and from those 20 million that I had last time, now I have about 100 million. I didn't even do anything, and it was all doing auto trading. Ready for retasking, Just sir? Let me have a look at something. If I go into my, let's say, fusion reactors, I'm going to see how much we can sell. We've got loads of fusion reactors here, so I could probably just sell and make some money. Okay, let's have a look. Choose Vulture. I just want to see where we're going to go. So, oh no, they're not good deals anyway. So, because they're not really that good deals, I'm not going to do anything with these fusion reactors. Let me see what else is there. Microchips is also... Well, supplied by these two stations. Let me see who needs them. Nah, there's not much need. I remember scanning arrays are in need a lot. So let me see where the scanning array. See, this is Heart of Albion shipyard. It needs about 6,000 of them. And I'm not producing that many at all. So there's a little bit of a shortage scanning array. The only problem is by the time you build all the factory and everything is needed for scanning array, um, NPCs pick their pick up with their production and kind of waste your time. 
So as you can see, I believe this is why that Iran is stuck because it's missing the shipyard is missing scanning array. So in the case that you need to unblock it, you'll need to do it yourself. So as I said in that earlier in um no, hang on before I go any further, I just want to finish with the trades. So let me see if anyone needs plus six four thousand and we should be able to sell some reinforced metal plating. Five thousand here. Just want to see if any of my factories need any about thirty-four. So here we go. This is going to be one of our I'm gonna go use vulture. How many will you take? 5,500, please. You have a deal. We're en route. And let's sell it. Where is this one? Yes, this Omicron Larry. They're both in Omicron Larry. And this one is in King Chad. So they're basically in the same area. How much? So there you go. Making here 21 million on the run. And it says in saying estimated profit based on the base price. It's two million. You have a deal. We're on route. And we're going to sell the rest How of this much? guy here. A little bit of profit made as well, about seven million. You have a deal. We're on route. So, if you go into your your own status, you can still here see what your credits are and credits due from traders. Now, there's one thing here. I just want to show you quick save see this vulture here is not in my squad and because I send it to do trade outside of um, um, the Vries and I want it back after it finishes its trade I'm just gonna comment what will it be I'm just gonna add it to the squad. Your squad so after it finishes the trade it will join back my squad that means it's going to come back where I am and now I can exit the full screen mode or not the full screen mode exit the game mode and uh, just do other things with with my second screen and leave the game to just do its own thing so as I said I'm gonna give occasional updates they won't I, I don't think I'm gonna make any big videos I'm actually looking forward to getting some DLCs to expand a little bit and I'm thinking about going back to Teladi um, space to do a little bit of more um, just cruising around and, and looking and I'm very interested there is this unknown where that let me see if I go into where's I would like to see if there are any if it's um, listed here in my encyclopedia apparently you can make a lot of money there you go unknown where various enigmatic items fall into the generic class of unknown wares their purpose and indeed their origins are unknown at this time be careful handling such wares should you come across them their natures stability and any hazards they might pose are also unclear like everything is unclear about this mysterious way so if you get up if you have um, a Taladi outpost uh, and you can go into where is my ah there it is so one of these stations here I ah, know that's a Taladi Union one let me see if I go into three there you go, these guys, whatever they are, UA, they produce and they sell this Ready for sir. and I have no idea what it is really, so why not kill some time, I'll just maybe leave the game flowing on my second screen, I'm going to visit Albion again uh, soon and I'm going to see whether I can, I can do that now, whether I can uh, see if there is this, uh, if I run in their shipyard has been built. This is the Albion Skunk. Oh, there's Requesting another thing. Permission to dock. Let me just save it. 
So Control S, uh, sorry, Shift S, uh, saves the game. And if you are on the platform, like this one, or you are on a station, or inside of Albion's Skunk, oh look, I can hack my own terminal and sabotage my own repair terminal. Um, if I'm in, at any platform, including back of Albion Skunk, and I press Shift D, it will automatically um, take me back to the Skunk's cabin. So that's basically saves you off hitting the side menu button 7 and pressing number 2 button. There you go, return to your shift, ship. You can also press Shift D. So that's the shortcut. And here's my old granny. This guy is sometimes very cranky. What do you want? What do I want? Let's go to Albion. Shady Walt, I'm hoping that um Acknowledged. There we go. Let's enjoy the ride. So anyway, I'm gonna go to see whether the uh, shipyard has finished building Iran and I'm gonna buy another construction vessel to build another uh, self cell fab and to support production of iron cells, antimatter cells and plasma cells. Entering. So here we are. Now look this is one of my miners, and not one but two of them. Probably one of the things that I want to do in the um in the future this is Baron Hart, okay. So a lot of my trade ships, uh, sorry, mining. Oh, is it Baron Hart or Black Pebble? Eventually, I'm going to put cell recharge facility for the jump fuel, and I think I'm going to put it in Black Pebble because this is where majority of my ships fly to harvest for plasma and ions and other bits and pieces. Oh, hi guys, um, I forgot to say something. While you're having your game running on, on one of the screens in that borderless mode and you're doing whatever you're doing on your um, second screen, just every now and then what you can do is just go into your log menu. Make sure that, <coughs> excuse me, none of the ships got attacked and destroyed. So you don't want to leave the game running for a few hours and then come back and not not um, noticing that and then carry on and after a while you're thinking, oh, where is that? Um, so Lux stores a fair bit of information here. So, about 53 pages here. So keep an eye on it. And Entering. Ascendancy. Oh, look, we're in ascendancy. Okay, I'll uh, just wait until we get to, new coordinates to Shady Walt. Ships. And as I said, because I sent that vulture to trade in Omicron, right? you just keep an eye on it where it's going to end up because it's going to follow you everywhere you're going as well. Just in case that you decide to pick a mission and, and it's a combat mission and you may get involved in combat. Is it just keep that in mind. As you can see now, the game is fairly intuitive. I'm, I'm not sure how far you guys gone in your game and how everything is going, but uh, it takes a lot of time. It takes patience as well. So that's why I quite like. I used to have a, a another computer, another laptop that I used to run the game on it, and it was just for the sake of running the economy in the background. And that was basically a full-time computer for for X Rebirth, but now. Um, I saw the computer and now I'm just running it on this one that I'm having now and I find using two screens it's it, it's pretty good actually so boosters engaged and making a hell of a row yeah yeah high five what do you want uh, high five that it yeah that was it Oh, look at that! Flying through a station, what was that? Oh my god, I can't believe that's, this 
these guys got like five stars. Right. Okay, we are flying to Lady Vault. See on the map where we are. Suddenly, so slow. Entering Shady Vault. Transmitting new coordinates to following ships. Are we there yet? Preparing to deliver wares. Hey, are we there yet? We're there. Ah, thanks. So I think that I don't even have to get out of the um, the ship. I can just go into Excel ship. Com. Now what? Yeah, hey. All right, let's build construction vessel. Next. Uh, cargo lifter. How many? Ten of these. How many? As you can see, if you, even if you put like forty of them, it will speed up. Um, uh, <coughs> excuse me, speed up uh, construction. Per fair bit, and you're only paying about three point five millions there. And let me put a How few many? of these. That is a fairly expensive. I don't even know why I'm using them. Nah, I'm just gonna use interceptor. They're useless, really. But ah, uh, what the hell? How many? We got money. Let's spend. That's the ship you want. Yes, that's Be the ship I want. Be certain we don't stop for rethinks. So let me have a look. See if if the shipyard was missing any of the wares. These would be highlighted in red. I don't know if I ever mentioned this before, but anyway, I'm just going to test this. And now, how is this going to work? If I hire... Let me just say before I start doing something silly. So I'm going to hire... Come on. Save. I do here. Save. Oh, I don't know what I was pressing. So what do we say? Let's see if we can hire it. Hire people while being docked. Pilot, I have some great deals to offer. Hi pilot. Guess what I have for you. Show me your skills, please. Stop and chat. I'll make it worth your visit if you shop here. For good or ill, I'm what you've got now. I'm just gonna close this menu so I hear is. I don't know if this is possible. Oh yeah. There he is. I'm settled in back here. I wish you'd change the decor, though. Shut up. I didn't change the decor. It was the developers. They set up the decor. So, that would be an interesting mode. So I can uh, uh, hire a person to clean the rubbish and to change the decor so these people don't complain. So anyway, where was I? So we said we want to crew for capital ship. But this is what I'm actually interested in more than anything. Show me your profile, else. please. Sure, let's do it. This guy's not too bad. Now what? Show me your profile, please. Show me your profile, please. So that second one was. What was that? 
Hiya. Show me your profile, please. 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 Well, hello. Show me your profile, please. Oh, look at that. Sure, let's do it. All five stars. Yeah, I'd like to hire you. Hiring me was a damn smart move, sir. And let's hire one of these. Show me your skills, please. So that's it, guys. Hey, my friend. Yes. I'm gonna find Show me your skills, please. Hey, my friend. Show me your skills, please. Accepted. I'll get this guy. So that's about it, guys. You'll um, never look back after hiring me, sir. Your ship is complete and is blocking up my production area. Yeah, I'm aboard. How does your co-pilot cope with the smell of sweaty male clothing back here? So there you go, another improvement. We need a laundry. A laundry in the skunk so that you can... Some sweaty male clothing can be washed. I'm snug and cozy back here. Save. And let's find this ship. Let's just change it. Alpha 2. And let me see if we can. No, we can't. So, anyway, I'll need to. Ah, I can call remotely. Let me see if this is gonna work. Hiya! Nah. So, anyway, so I'll need to undock. So, there we go. Shift D gets me back inside of the skunk. Guys, Hiya. Starting new station assignment, sir. I won't be a disappointment. Ah, oh, she's a nice person. All right. I like her son. Turn up her voice. Now what? Now what? All right, go and work I'll here. move over to my new duty station. It had better not look like a rubbish dump. Well, clean the rubbish. It's in your job description and defense. Oh, my friend. Starting on a new assignment now, sir. Thank you for your faith in me. So that's about it. Shift D. Okay, just to prove you guys, I'm here. Shift D. I'm back inside of the skunk. And I'm just gonna dock back to this ship. This is the Albion. Requesting permission to dock. We're gonna fly back to the Vries. I'm not what gonna get want? what do I want. Um, I'm gonna go back to the freezing and glaring truth, and I'm just gonna. It's uh, gonna be interesting. Uh, where can I put it? Actually, let's fly the. Yes. With you guys, I still haven't worked out how to rename the zones. Um, I should really Google it and name them something funny. So that's about it um, for now. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.